What's up guys, welcome to this week's patch note video where we're going to cover everything that is going on in RuneScape this week. And I can let you know, there's actually quite a lot of stuff going on. So there's, it's going to be a pretty interesting one. But anyway, we won't spend much longer on the intro. We'll get started pretty much straight away. Um, so if you find this useful and all that sort of stuff, then leave a like, sub to the channel if you are new. And let's take a look. So we've got the new quest this week, which um, is going to be the first main thing. But the thing says Dead and Buried Launch and the Soldite Update this week in runescape so we've got the sold update and the, the new quest it's probably the main things in here so let's see expand your range at four for in three uh swat up a necromancy law details and share your feedback with us cool so fort for in three dead and buried Commanding 4 in 3 is all very satisfying, but some persistent irritations are starting to grind your gears. Your unwelcome guests have stuck around for too long, plus there's the issue uh, of that mysterious and foreboding door, which is a little too close to your fortifications for comfort. It's time to find out just what the hell is going on around here. But before you do that, you'll have to kit out your guards with some additional range to keep the undead hordes at bay. Introducing the ranger's workroom, this is a new expansion to the existing guard house focused on fletching and preparing your guards with everything they need to hold off the nasties from a reasonably safe distance. So they um, they released a thing about this already. This is here. Read about the, in our recent blog. Um, but this is basically the, the update to fletching, which is going to make, make the new arrows and stuff a lot better. And there's a lot of changes with it as well. I do believe... Protox made a video on it, so if I remember, I'll link his video in the description if you haven't seen that. Um, because that's probably the best thing to look to see what's actually going on with this whole like quest thing here as well. But uh, there is a new quest, uh, I do believe, so you want to go and check that out uh, and get that sorted and get, get, your, get your fletching stuff done if you are interested in all the four stuff and if you are look, looking at doing the fletching stuff, it is definitely good. Uh, next thing is the necromancy insights to the story. So, this was already this was released last Thursday, I believe. So the Thursday just been, and they basically released loads of new story stuff. So if you haven't seen this yet, um, and you're interested in following all things necromancy, including like the story and the lore and stuff as well, which is what this one was, I didn't cover it in a video because, like, I would have just been watching the video and going, oh, "That was cool," uh, because like, there wasn't really anything for me to add to it. So while it was still really interesting, go and check it out. I'll link this post again in the in the description. And you'll be able to come find this video. You'll be able to look at the blog and stuff and go through this the story what's going on. But that way I looked at it and it is cool. It is interesting. Um and I, I actually can't wait for the, the necromancy story. So this is cool. This is definitely um something I'm excited for. Understanding RuneScape. So it says we're always keen to hear your feedback, and regular surveys help us to gauge how the community is feeling and where we should be headed next. To this end, we've put together a survey all about what RuneScape means to our players. Follow this link, so I'll, I'll link this in the, the description with the post. Uh, share your, uh, to share your thoughts. This survey will be all available from today, July seventeenth, until Sunday, twenty third. Um. The, uh, British summer time. Okay, so so uh, be sure to get your responses in before the deadline. And then they're doing the same thing as last time. We'll also be giving away twenty pound shopping vouchers to twenty participants who complete the survey in full. Vouchers can be spent as let to uh, selected of online retailers. The winners will be randomly selected from all participants. Cool. So they did this last time, and then they announced the twenty winners as well. So very cool. So all you need to do really is do the link. Which you should definitely do this. I think I said this last time as well. If you actually have a few minutes spare, you should definitely do the survey because it's going to help sort of guide the way the game goes in the future. And I believe the last time that, that we did this, they took quite a lot of um, thought into it and and did like they reacted to some stuff with it and so far. So definitely do the survey if you uh, have a few spare minutes. But then you could also win the twenty pounds as well. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Why not? Hell, hell yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I'm glad to see Jagex doing this sort of thing. I think it's important. And if they keep regularly doing it, like they're saying here, regular surveys, I was to gauge how the community is feeling. This is a step in the right direction. And communication lately is, it is getting there. It is going in the right way. So, it's great to see. Now, the next thing that I'm actually quite excited for. Now, the Soul Eye update. Let's have a look. So... We've shown, um, they've shown these already. Like, these got shown on Twitter, but I believe we have more stuff, which looks pretty cool. So let's take a look. We've shown you our rework concepts from the Soul Die item. With today's update, these changes will be live. 
the this new approach combines your favorite bits of the concepts we shared with a new animated texture uh, which has also been tuned to be slower and more readable thank you for your assistance in this process and we hope you enjoy the new look so the sold out when it released people were like man this looks cheap and tacky and i don't like it uh some people obviously liked it but the majority of people i believe were pretty much just like man it's just the aurora die but green what, what, what? like th this isn't good right and then they released this and people were like oh this looks good this looks nice um and it does i think the tecton looks badass i think they'll look good right the design is is, is a lot better but then we have now we have this so these are all going to change so the staff actually looks pretty badass like it's a it's a black um staff with a the green thing the stuff's the scale that's cool so we'll flicking through here you'll just have a look but what i'll do is i'll leave it on screen a little bit and we'll have a quick look at some turn things i think it looks really cool um all of it i think they've done a really nice job of it. i really want this i think this is the press one is it and the the imperium core and then i don't know i think they've just done a, a really nice job with the whole thing now i will say a lot a few of the things not a lot of them a few of the things kind of look like the vitality weapons pack but not much and it like it, it's just like this one for example maybe a little bit but that, that's it the scythe looks freaking badass um there's a unicorn in this one which is i don't think you're gonna get a unicorn if you die just saying and <laughs> but yeah i think it's cool i think they've done a really really good job of redesigning this and it just goes to show like this could have been first you could like this this is this is the level of quality that you we could we could we can now expect and i hope jagex realizes that now they've done this if they're going to release another die then you know this this has got to be this standard in the future you gotta you gotta make it this this is good this is really high quality stuff is i like it um and i also really hope that the dies get added to the actual in-game loot scrolls at some point jagex please like just just do it just just add them in game to the clue scrolls give give clue hunters a little extra thing to look forward to but yeah hell yeah this is this is really cool so crime gaming drop this drop brings you to uh the stylish for for in three umbral robes plus five knowledge bombs okay for in three umbral robes uh, these we've already had umbral robes many times i believe so these are probably just recolored versions of that i don't know um but this will be tomorrow. So when Prime Gaming drops, it's usually always the next day. So you can get this tomorrow. It won't be today. Uh, but again, grab your Prime loot tomorrow. You get some knowledge bombs. You get your own rogue and stuff. Very cool. Live stream calendar. Wednesday, um, July 19th. There's a skill and chill. Join Mod Doom and Mod Spear as a kickback and grind some levels. That should be interesting if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Treasure Hunter calendar. All events below. Um, reward bonus last wills for the ongoing part of the event. Okay, that's that's normal. It's extended till the twenty fourth, so we've still got a little while longer. This is nice. And then um, we've got the dragons doesn't fill the twelve gems with prizes and open the chest to win a prize from your selected uh, chosen selection. The shadow gem makes a return, and dragon chests have arrived, which multiply your prizes by four. This time around, the shadow gem might contain the magnificent soul die. So the soul die is still going to be on treasure hunter even on the next promotion, which is tomorrow and it could be in the the, sh uh, the, the the shadow gem so i'm assuming there's gonna be quite a lot more of these soul dies coming into the game soon uh, probably as of tomorrow because i think the shadow gem is not as uncommon i could be wrong i, I feel like i've had the shadow gem quite a few times that doesn't mean that you're gonna get it like i'm assuming there's other things in the shadow gems too uh, but we'll have to see but yeah there you go patch notes damn there's a lot of stuff let's quickly try and cover through this because this video is getting getting there um okay so general when fixing when switching into legacy interface modes its previous selected chat filter now persists fix an issue that prioritizes saving single stackable low value items above high value for hard crime and plays on death this was that bug that i made a video on so that's really good beautiful nice love to see it players can now complete civil war three mini quests before completing the twilight of the gods quest fiction issue which prevented abomination's second slam attack from inflicting damage and the uh, animation from appearing woodcutter's grove woodbox function uh, functionality has been added for wood spirits to improve in inventory management cool so does that mean that the woodbox now has space for the wood spirits i hope so people are asking for that quite a lot items stored in a wood box will organize themselves based on level the my fort smells of rich mahogany achievement now requires maple blanks to fit, uh, fit better with other medium level achievement 
requirements. The mode on the border quest overview should now list the collect correct items required for completion and correctly match the blueprint requirements. Fixing the issue that prevented the I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay achievement from being awarded properly. The quest cape and I've got a little uh, list of mini quests achievement now has their requirements in release order. So there's markers used to enter the exit quests and the foundations. Sorting the quest list by starting area now. List twelve of the gods on the barrack outskirts. Okay, so this is not really big things here. The welcome guest quest can now be sorted in the quick. Okay, cool, whatever. Graphics. Uh, some of the characters, some of the characters featured in the dead and buried quest have been graphically updated. Okay, whatever. Uh, fletching. Damn, this is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Fletching buffs for saving. Resources and auto stringing ancient bows now have additive presented chance when multiple uh, buffs with the same effect are active. Instead of rolling for each buff separately and choosing the first one to proc, uh, this more accurately represents the desired outcome of stacking random chance buffs and providing an increased probability of the effect to proc. Okay. Uh, additional XP is now awarded when the fletching skill cap inspires you to craft extra range ammunition um, and headless arrows. That's cool. The chat message now points out that an extra bundle has been made instead of a double, allowing for other buffs to provide additional bundles to proc at the same time. Damn, this is good, right? This means you're going to be able to make a lot more, and it also means that you're probably going to get, like, your XP rates are going to go up, right? That's what that, that would mean, basically. Fix an issue where the portable flexure would award a additional XP and consume the resources for stringing two bows at once, but not giving an extra strong bow. Okay, good. Buffs for fle uh, saving fletching resources no longer send extra resources to the bank. Instead, they are not removed from the inventory. The fletch product will be sent to the bank if saving resources resulting in not having enough space to receive it. Saving logs via a buff while fletching an unstrung bow or crossbow stock would previously not subtract an action from the uh, make X queue, allowing extras to be fletched within the same queue. Although this can be a useful feature, it has been removed to remain consistent with the other instances where the buff to save fletching wheels as procs to prevent the seemingly buggy behavior of the make makes eggs and paint. Okay, it makes sense. Fixing issue where fletching an unstrung crossbow and finished crossbow bolts, along with stringing crossbows, did not provide a chance to acquire the fletching skilling pet. Oh, well, that's definitely an issue, an issue that needed fixing. That would have freaking sucked. Corrupted magic logs now provide a chance to acquire the fletching skilling pet. Um, the portable fletcher no longer provides a chance to string two crossbows at once. Uh, the portable fletcher now allows a chance to save resources when making unstrung crossbows. Better continuity across fletching skill pet rolls. Okay, fix an issue where the player own farm hen perk. Headless chicken would consume 1.5 times arrows instead of 0.5. <laughs> oh, frick, dude. What? How annoying. But yeah, there you go. That's sorted. Okay, so lots of fletching stuff coming in with the fletching update, as expected. Um, lots of fixes with it as well. Let's take a look at the community stuff. We've got someone who knitted the socks or the shoes from um, the Stronghold of Security. How cool is that? <laughs> that's actually really cool i like that um then we've got some art stuff here very nice very nice and a comic so it says now you just combine the tin and copper together and whoa that's a huge chocolate bar no it's not it's a snap you want some pretty... <laughs> okay yeah, at least i understand this one last time i was like i don't get it but this is yeah, that's actually quite funny uh rune tube loot from 6000 corporal beast um, we've got, did I complete RuneScape for Necromancy? And then we've got Silence with most useful quest rewards. So go check these guys out. There's a couple of, um, there's Iron and Raxor here, and there's just background noise and Silence as well. Check the videos out. Uh, Escape of Screenshots. We have, damn, that looks nice. Very cool. Anyway, right, guys, that's it. I'm going to end the video here. I am probably most ex as bad as it is. Like, this, this is the new quest, right? Uh, I'm probably not going to do it because it's 4 for in 3. I'll come back and do it at some point. I'm not interested in fletching right now. I'll do it, I'll do it at some point. But the soul dies, very cool. I want to see how they look. I'm not getting any right now. I don't know. Probably not. Like, I don't. Yeah, I want to prepare for necromancy instead. Um, keep the money for that. But looks very cool and there's a lot going on this week so yeah let me know what you think about everything in the comments and i'll catch you all next time see you later guys bye